welcome back to my channel. My name is Maggie. Today I've got a makeup I've hit pan on update. So I like to do these every four months. So three times a year, it just gives me a decent amount of time to get some new pans to share with you. I will link the other videos in my description box down below if you are interested in seeing what else I've hit pan on this year. Um, so this is my second video of the year and then I will do my third one in December during Vlogmas at some point in time. So stay tuned for that. But today I have four new pans to share with you, not as many as I was hoping to have, but still four pans nonetheless. We're gonna take what we can get. Um, so I'm hoping that that means that, you know, this fall will be really pan heavy and I'll have a bunch to share with you. So let's go ahead and dive in. I have one um, face powder here that I wanted to mention. This is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh um, powder foundation that I've been using. I have the shade Light 6 for summertime. It, mine is almost done. So yeah, there's quite a bit of pan in there. Um, I probably only have a couple of uses left in it. I've really enjoyed this though. I've been using it this summer as kind of my powder foundation. I have oily skin and live in a humid environment. So in the summertime, I'm just not interested in putting any, you know, kind of layers of cream products on my face really. I prefer powder. So this has been awesome for me. I'm really, really happy with it and um, wanted to share it before it's all finished up and then I'll probably buy another one to be honest. So there's one and then I've got three eyeshadows to share with you. So if you've been following my pan that slash every palette, you're going to recognize some of these. So the first one comes from my Natasha Denona mini retro palette and I hit pan in the first shade here called Galaxia. Now it might be kind of hard to see because it is a metallic shade, but I've got pan right down in here. So Galaxia is this really beautiful shimmery kind of like rose gold shade. I really enjoyed using this all over the lid. It also offered a nice kind of like shift. It was almost a little bit of green sparkle in it. It's beautiful. I absolutely love it. Let me just give you a swatch because my description isn't going to do it justice. It's a really nice shade. If you've been looking at this palette, I would highly recommend it. I find it to be very um, flattering. So you can see as it pulls into the sunlight, it almost is giving off a little bit of a cooler tone shift and it pulls a little bit green. It's gorgeous. I absolutely love, love it. So that is the first eyeshadow pan to share with you. <clears throat> The next one comes from my Sultry palette, which is my Pan That palette, um, but I wanted to mention that I have hit Pan in the shade Ember. I had to check my notes which, which one it was. So Ember is this dark kind of green, um, I don't know, green brown, I guess you could say, right here. It's got a little bit of Pan in it. I was using it as my outer um, third like shade for my um, lid, and it worked really well. It is a little bit darker than I was used to. That's a swatch of it there. It's, you know, a nice deepening shade to me. They're kind of all the same, so I used them interchangeably, but I did hit pan, which is great and definitely increased my pan percentage. I track my pan percentage in my pan that slash every palette series. Spoiler alert, I am almost to 20%, which is crazy but I'm proud of it. So we're not going to hate on that at all. That's like a huge accomplishment. So Ember has pan. That's a new one for me. And then the last one comes from my Norvina palette. Really, really happy I got pan on this. I haven't even had this palette a year. I bought it in December of 21. So really happy that I already have a pan in it. Um, and I hit pan in the shade called Dazzling, which is right here. It's this really gorgeous kind of like taupey rosy brown it's very very pretty as a one shade like one shadow look i really enjoyed it this summertime so it's got a nice high shine finish and um let's get a swatch here it's just a little bit more rich than ember you can see ember's got a little bit more like green and kind of lackluster where this has a little bit more pinky rosiness to it i think it's gorgeous i love it i used it to death i really really love this color so those are the three eyeshadow pans I have to share. I know that this video is really short and sweet. I wish I had more to share with you, but those are the newest ones. You know, I have pan in other products in my collection, but these are the ones that I've hit pan on since my last update. So again, I will leave my other videos down below of the makeup I've hit pan on. Um, if you want to go and binge those, I know seeing pan is really, really exciting and something that 
I don't know. I get like very motivated seeing other people hit pan because I want to go hit more pan in my own collection. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you're doing well. Let me know what you have recently hit pan on down below. I think, you know, blushes, highlighters are really difficult to hit pan on. Eyeshadows are coming a little bit easier for me these days. Um, but I kind of like hone in on the shades I want to use. So it's not like I'm bouncing around as much as I used to with eyeshadow. So anyway, that's going to be it for me today. I hope you're doing well and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.